Hi, welcome. We're going to be touring you uh, across a uh, MDU or apartment complex. Uh, this particular owner, uh, there's typically two models that you're going to work from. Uh, you have a model where you would leverage a, a, a high-speed internet provider, or you can do what this owner did, which is you take control of the network and you provide that service as a amenity or as, a, a, as an additional revenue source for you. Uh, that's what this owner did. So in, in this uh, case, he's providing a, a bulk uh, internet package from a, from a local provider, uh, and then he's taking that and he's ultimately going to be pushing that out to all of the apartments across the complex. So it's a really nice model because it allows the owner of the apartment complex to add an additional revenue stream, which is uh, oftentimes very attractive for owners. So now we're going to uh, you walk you across the apartment complex. We'll show you the head end where all of uh, Corning Software Defined uh, land equipment is housed. We'll also show you outside an apartment building where we have a splice closure. We have fiber cable that's feeding each of the apartment buildings. Uh, once we get to an apartment building, because it's fiber based, we don't have to have an additional closet, which would be typical. Uh, so it already saves you on some uh, real estate, uh, which is very attractive for these owners as well. Within that apartment unit, we're going to have a software defined access node. In case of this particular complex, they're gonna be in the master bedroom uh, closet. And from there, we're gonna have POE out, which is gonna provide the various services for each of the uh, living units. Standing in the, in the head end of the apartment complex, we have very limited room to work in, but the beauty of a fiber-based system is it takes very little equipment. So the network electronics here, these are the only network electronics that we have for the deployment outside of the software-defined access room that's physically in each apartment unit. I'll walk through uh, the equipment here. We have the, the Layer 3 router. This is bringing the services into Corning's platform. We have a, a, a firewall. And then, this is, then we connect into the software-defined uh, data plane. This is where we're taking our connection from the router. This is where we're getting our connection from our controller. And this is also uh, where we are going to uplink to our optical line terminal up above. So a 10 gigabit connection from the software-defined data plane to the optical line terminal. From the optical line terminal, we have four uh, GPON optics, or point-to-multipoint optics. Each one of these optics is ultimately going to serve a optical splitter. This is a passive device. So one fiber in, it's going to split that fiber into up, up to 32 connections. Uh, each of these connections are ultimately going to pack into our patch panel above, and each one of these uh, fiber connections is representing a apartment unit, which is serving that software-defined access code in the, in the unit itself. We're obviously there, we're deploying Wi-Fi connectivity, TV, TV, and phone. We're standing outside of one of the apartment buildings within the complex. So one of the key advantages of a, of a fiber-based software-defined LAN solution is we don't have to have a, a closet in each one of these buildings, so there's many uh, buildings within the larger complex. Outside of each building is one of these NEMA enclosures, which I'll show you here. So in a typical installation, I'd have to have a closet where I have network switches that would feed each of the apartments. Uh, in this case, since it is a fiber-based system, what you see here is we have a, a splice enclosure. This is our model BPEO. Uh, so what's happening is I have a large count fiber cable, which is being uh, fed via the clubhouse. Um, here I'm splicing the larger count uh, cable to individual single mode fiber cables, which are ultimately feeding each of the apartments. We also have a software defined access node. What this access node is doing is it's providing uh, a PoE connection to an outdoor wireless access point, which is providing coverage for the parking lot and also the dog walk area behind us. Here we are in one of the master bedrooms where all the media panels are stored. We have a three port software defined access node that's powering the unit via fiber connection from the clubhouse. From here, we have category six running to all the TV locations. One of the locations in this unit has a wireless access point, which is being fed from this port here. Here we are in the living room of this unit. This is our TV location. Right below here, there's, some, there's a wireless access point, which is extended from the three port software defined node that I showed you earlier in the other room. The cool thing about this access point, the reason we chose it, is it'll, it's, it has enough capability to power this entire unit, but also you can't see them in this. There's a couple of ports down here. So you can plug in your gaming console, and also you can feed that through this brush plate up to your television location, so you get a much, stable, much more stable connection. Hi, my name's Dave Elder with Safety Net Access. I'm here to tell you a little bit about our company and what we're doing today to increase the efficiency revenue and to really ensure the future viability of managed Wi-Fi in the multifamily space. Um, Safety Net Access has spent the last 20 years deploying, designing, and supporting wireless networks, resulting in our managing over 4,000 properties today across the United States and, uh, and Canada. 
In 2019, we took this expertise and this infrastructure and brought it into the multifamily space. And it's particularly relevant now as builders and owners are looking for ways to move away from the traditional models traditionally offered by larger ISPs. We, like many others in the uh, in the multifamily space, saw the need to bring fiber to the unit. Uh, traditionally, though, this has been cost prohibitive, uh, but through some unique strategic alliances with partners like Corning, uh, through creating real transparency and op open partnerships uh, throughout the supply chain, and by getting creative in our design and deployment efforts, we've been able to deliver fiber to the unit at our customers' properties at or near the price for traditional copper networks. Uh, really ensuring that our customers are ready for the, the onslaught of technology innovation that's coming to their property, like it or not. So give us a call, send an email, and let's see how we can make fiber to the unit work for you and for your community.